Hi. Well, I hope it's nice weather for the voodoo music experience because it isn't just another festival. This is a unique concert going experience. Yeah, it connects music, art, entertainment, and just groovy people <laughs> all inside another world in City Park. And Ann Cutler tells us that this year's event features artists from around the world. German-born production designer Stefan Bies is a trained architect, but these days his creations don't exactly stand the test of time. Here we have the possibility to do, create something very on a, in a very short time frame, but also it is just up for three days. And but in three days, over. 50, 60, 80,000 people would experience it. It's called environment design. You're creating not just a building or a space, but rather an experience. Being able to, to take people out of their um, usual day time routine and bring them out to the Voodoo Festival and then just experience something completely different. Days before Voodoo begins, the environment starts to take shape. Nestled between the live oaks at City Park are a variety of art installations from around the world. It's always nice to have this blend, international, national and local artists, and then them collaborating, like we have with the Heron or the mural piece, there's one artist from Australia involved. So, I mean, having this blend of, of collaboration is great. Many of these art installations serve dual purpose, or both visual and functional. For example, these LOA containers adjacent to the main stage also serve as the VIP area. And many of the pieces are interactive as well. A metal sculpture called Heron features flames and performers known as the Mystic Ponies. Meantime, visitors can actually climb inside its counterpart fledgling. You can go in the ribcage of that bird, which is welded from old bike and car parts and um, there's a me mechanism and you can go in there and with your feet you can pedal these 15 feet steel wings. Expect some of the festival's iconic pieces like Passage, the Pinwheel Garden and Cone, along with new additions such as the Fountain de Lee and Tree of Words. This year Voodoo will even host carnival rides for both children and adults. Imagine taking in the festival from high atop a Ferris wheel. Yeah. I love Voodoo for that reason. Yeah, lots of cool stuff you to see. You might see somebody walking across the field in a lit bubble at night or something. They have some <laughs> Will cool it be stuff. you? No, it won't be me. <laughs> okay, well, coming up.